Now, every day people are being urged to ditch the car in favour of public transport options. But today marks the anniversary of a very different message. In 1950, the powers that be believed the car was the future. And because of that, large sections of the rail network were closed and ripped up. Our South East reporter Cormac Campbell has been looking at what's left of the old Belfast and County Down railway line. 70 years ago today, an era came to an end with the closure of large sections of County Downs railway network. For years, trains travelling between Belfast and Newcastle would have used this track, travelling through places like Saintfield, Dundrum, Downpatrick and Cumber. The Cumber station closed a few months after the others. Before that, it offered impressively fast services into Belfast. An express train could leave here from Cumber and be in Belfast Queen's Quay Station, which is just beside the Odyssey Arena, in about 14 minutes. Now, I'm going to head into Belfast shortly, and it's going to take me an awful lot longer than that. The route's legacy is marked by the reuse of some of its old stations. Cumber is a fire station, Downpatrick a museum, and Newcastle, a supermarket. Theresa Lynch and her family have lived in the old Sainfield station for 20 years. As well as being a family home, it retains evidence of its former use. So these are the levers, and uh, they were used by the station master to change the track. 70 years ago, when the last train went up the track, they lifted all the sleepers as they went and packed them on to the back of the last train. You can still feel where the sleepers were when you're going along with the lawnmower. While the restoration of the line seems unlikely in the near future, a greater focus on sustainable transport has raised hopes that some of the old track could be converted into a greenway. Cormac Campbell, BBC Newsline, County Down.